Hey, great idea bringing the couch out here from your den, Peter. Yeah, Lois and I dragged it out here last night for a little hump sesh, so I figured I'd let it dry. Couch. That's one of those words that if you say it over and over, it starts to sound silly. Joe, you need to take a class on small talk. You're not going to believe this. I'm in one. It sure is cloudy today. Good. You could have also responded to Janet, who said her son died. I'm sorry your son died on such a cloudy day. Sorry I was late. You're still wearing that back brace? That can't be good for you. Dr. Hartman said you were done with that thing. I'm not going to listen to that bozo. Of course I'm still wearing it. Watch me jump this line. Excuse me, I have scoliosis. Excuse me, scoliosis coming through. Hey, pal. Polio. A thousand apologies. Oh. 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 What's wrong with you? Oh, it's my back. It's killing me. Yeah, I'm not falling for that hot oil massage bit again. No, this time it's not a bit. I'm really hurt. I must have jacked it up playing sports and not trying to dance like Beyonce. Well, if you're in that much pain, I better tell Lois. Ugh, please don't. Then she'll drive me to the doctor, and I hate being in the car with her. Say a word. Okay, I guess that's not my part. What happened? I just went to see my psychic Estelle, and she told me that Stewie is going to grow up to be very successful. Ah, isn't that great news? You went to see that psychic again? That's the third time this week. She's a lifesaver, Brian. She gives me the confidence to live my life knowing I'm making the right choices. Wow, and she does all this for free? No, she charges me. She charges you? Well, that's weird. Why would you pay her to hear things you want to hear? I'm not crazy about your tone, Brian. Well, I just think you're being taken for a ride, Lois. Like a snail on the back of a turtle. Slow down! I want to get there, but I want to get there alive! <laughs> Damn it! There's no way across! Spidey, can you swing us across with your web? No, I can't swing you across. And it's Spider-Man, not Spidey. I'm pretty sure I've heard people call you Spidey. Yeah, close friends. What's your name? Peter. Hey, Petey, do stuff for me. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, you don't like it. You're a fat nobody and I'm Spider-Man, so how do you think I feel? Mom, why do I have to take a bath with Stewie? Because, Meg, Estelle told me that someone in the family was in danger of drowning and that I should take some steps to prevent it. So from now on, everybody has a bath buddy. Hey, Meg, watch. <laughs> 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 ah! oh, crap, I can't sleep like this. And now my mind is racing. Like, how does that candle in Beauty and the Beast sing so good? I mean, the teapot I get, because she's a girl, but the candle? I don't understand. Oh, he's French, that's why. <coughs> <sighs> couch it is, I guess. Oh my god, the couch is gone! Where the hell is... Oh, that's right. Couchella is this weekend. Hey, man, where you been? I just had sex with a girl on her period. Dude, that's not a brag. Why are you brushing your teeth with your left hand? Can't risk the right getting wet, Lois. Booberry touched it, and it is now a sacred space, like a temple. Okay, well, I'm gonna have middle-aged woman boobs falling off to the side sleep now. Good evening. Two nights ago, there was a shooting right here in our own backyard. The victim? A 14-year-old boy named Cleveland Brown, Jr. Joining me tonight is his father, Cleveland Brown. So that's not really Quahog, it's just a big picture? Now, Mr. Brown, I understand you're trying to get the police to reopen the investigation? That's right, Tom. My family and I believe this shooting was a hate crime, and we'd like to see Mr. Griffin held accountable for his actions. Hate crime? That's crazy! I love all people! I love blacks, I love Asians, hell, I even love gay aborigines! Brave guy! Brave? And just for being such a trooper, I thought maybe you could be the first in line for snack today. Really? On pretzel day? And after that, you can hold the bunny. Yeah, I'll pass on that, but the pretzel thing sounds up my alley. Now if I could just find someone to wear this hero hat. <gasps> I think I found him. 
Well, I say, that was a pleasant surprise. You know, like when a woman in a Porsche Cayenne isn't a complete bitch. Huh. Well, I did not expect that. I wasn't telling you to go. I was trying to smell my own fart. No, not see you tomorrow. Joe, what are you doing? You can't quit your job. Well, that's the other thing, Bonnie. You and I are done, too. What? I'm leaving you. Whoa! New Joe! Wow. I can't remember the last time Joe shot his gun. I know. That bullet's been rolling around in his junk drawer for years. Hey, Ma, guess where I am? Yeah! Can you hear it? Flying through the air. I don't know what he shot at. I guess I'll just have to find out when I land. <laughs> no, don't put Terry on. You, you can just tell him. Hey, hi, Terry. Brian, what are you doing up so late? I'm having trouble sleeping. I gotta tell you something. I kissed Bonnie last night. What? I know, I know, it was a huge mistake. So, let's just do two or three high fives and then forget it ever happened. Brian, if Joe finds out, he'll kill you. Yeah, no kidding. That's why you can't tell anybody, promise me. Now, don't worry, don't worry, I'm great at keeping secrets. Well, except for that one time you discovered my hidden shame. Peter? Brian, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I'm one of these guys now. I'm sorry, Brian! I'm sorry! Okay, Joe, Joe, you're drunk, okay? You're drunk. Give me your keys. And and I'm drunk, so I'll give you my keys. Okay, now we're both good to drive home. You been drinking tonight, sir? Uh, no, officer. I just had a glass of dinner with my wine. Okay, I'm gonna need you to step out of the car and walk a straight line, please. All right, you'll be safe, sir. There's a lot of crazies out there tonight. I've decided I'm gonna find new friends. Oh, come on, you're overreacting. The roast was your idea. You asked them to make fun of you. Yeah, but I thought they'd stick to material about how I'm too handsome to work at a brewery, or, or how I have tiny little baby sneezes. A you! I'm sure it was all meant in good fun. Yeah, it was supposed to be fun, but it was humiliating. I felt like a premature volcano. I just think you're a really cool island, and I'd like to get to know- Oh, God! Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. You're just so pretty. Please, don't tell the other islands. That's real pudding in there. What? No, it isn't. They wouldn't put real pudding on a billboard, Peter. Do you have any idea how crippled you sound right now? Peter, it's not real pudding! God, sometimes I just want to shake some sense into you. Yeah, big talk for a guy who looks like a dad at a Dave Matthews concert. Everybody hates how you dress. Right, Joe? Sorry, I stay out of fashion debates. I've been burned one too many times. Hey, guys, had us anything different? Yeah, Manetti's got a hot new look. The whole thing, it just works. Manetti! Ah, damn it! Why can't I move? Stewie, you okay? What happened? I was just sitting here on the couch and I had another nightmare about that horrible monster! Okay, that's it. I'm gonna help you get these nightmares under control. Really? Oh, thank you, Brian. And maybe I can help you control your strange obsession with eating pencil erasers. It's not an obsession. Mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, so rubbery. Mm. It's like a little steak. Mm, mm. Brian, you really should... The world is small and safe when I do this! Peter, please come to bed. Enough of the community watch. We live on a very safe street. Lois, you wouldn't believe the things we see out there. There was a kid riding his bike while holding a tennis racket. For real. Come on. Let's fool around and watch a movie. I'll finally click that crackle icon on the TV. Lois, I am an unelected vigilante, and I take my job very seriously. Like serious George. Hey, George. Want to go to the park? Uh, thank you, but no. It's a beautiful day. Lots of mischief to get into. I don't doubt that, but as you can see, I'm pretty busy. I'm trying to get a head start on my taxes. Oh, I see. Trying to figure out a way to deduct bananas? Ah, because I eat bananas. Terrific. Hey, you're inside, so don't wear a hat. Unless you're leaving, which would be terrific also. Lois, get in here! Meg's boyfriend. But there's... there's nothing wrong with him. Mom, where's my... Shh. <gasps> Quagmire, get over here. You gotta see this.
He seems to be completely normal. Oh. I can honestly say for the first time that I am attracted to our daughter. This must be what other fathers feel like. This was worth the 500-mile drive. 